So now let's do an exercise using legs. Egg, legs. So let's do the exercise in the book that I have. It's the version uh, seventh edition. We have the exercise 21 on page 200. And the intention of this exercise is to understand how to use, how to compute time using different relationships beyond finish to start. So you'll be using start to start, finish to finish uh, relationships. And second, how to compute the times when you have those, the, the relationships, the trio, finish to start, start to start, and finish to finish. And if we add lags or delays between tasks, that's the idea now. So you'll be doing that exercise, exercise 21. What is the exercise 21? 21, given the information in the following legs exercise, compute the early, late, and slack times for the project network. Which activities on the critical path has only the start or finish of the activity on the critical path? So that, that, that's a strange question now, but then you see why uh, we have that question on the exercise. So let's start computing times. So that's a, a, a project in which there are some activities here. Interview, define your features, order components, test, prototype, field test. Okay, those are the activities. And you can see here that you have different connections here. I will be using this in the book, the book writes, if you can see uh, in the book, you can see leg 10, leg 3, leg 4, and so on. I'm not using the same uh, format of the book. I'll be using how it is uh, the same uh, way we use that on Microsoft project. So for the first, here is a finish to finish. We call that a finish to finish relationship because we can have, we, we, we can see that we have a, uh, that's the finish line, that's the starting line of an activity. So we are connecting the finishing line of activity with another finishing line. That's what we call finish to finish. In the MS project, when you put that, we, we, we write in the predecessor column, instead of putting just the number of the activity, we write the number FF, meaning finish to finish, plus a leg. In, in the case of the problem, the leg is three. So it's a finish to finish with a leg three. In MS project, we have to add a, a, a activity ID in front of FF, okay? And here you have uh, uh, another activity that start to start. So it's, we are connecting the starting line. So it's a start to start with a leg of 10, okay? A leg of 10. Then we go here, let's go to the network. We have, uh, here it's a regular finish to start. It's, it's a finish to start with a, a leg of five, FS plus five. Here we have F finish to start plus four. On activity E, it's a finish, to finish, E and D. There is a connection, finish to finish, F, F, with leg of three. And then we have a regular uh, finish to start from D to E. When we don't put any indication, it's a finish to start without legs. When we, we, we have to add legs, we have to put the abbreviation of the relationship plus a number uh, that means the days between the activities. So I'm using here to solve the problem, the same notation you'll be using on the MS project. Okay, Christine is, is just sharing with us that that exercise is on page 205 on eighth edition. 
Thank you, Christine. Let's do the exercise. Let's compute the times. So we start with uh, zero, always start on zero, and let's work on the activity A. The interview has a duration of 15 days. Zero plus 15 goes to, so 15. It means that the uh, that's the early start, day zero, because it's the first activity, and the early finish is 15 because it has a duration of 15. Now let's 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 start computing the times for the for the other task. Let's start. With, let's continue with the, the first taking uh, activity B. Activity B. So on activity B, there is a connection between the starting of activity B with the starting of activity A. So here we have a start to start, but there is a delay of ten. So what is the early start for activity B? Who knows? Who can guess that? 10, yes, 10, thank you. So it means that I'll be starting B 10 days after starting A, okay? And now let's talk about the early finish for activity B. And here there is something that you have to pay attention to. That's a very special uh, box. I'll be doing that in red because that's very special. In that in that box here, I have two things going on at the same time to get there. So I have to execute the task. So if I think about executing the task, if I think about executing the task, I will arrive here with with 15. With 15 because that's the time to execute the task. That's a, and I have another condition that is, I can just finish, there is a finish to finish. So I can just finish B after three days of finishing A. Therefore, there is another condition here to finish that task. Two things I have to accomplish to finish the task. I have to execute the task, okay, duration of five, and wait three days after finishing activity A. So if you go here, we have another condition. And that condition is 15 plus 3, 18. And that 18, that 18 is uh, uh, another condition to finish the task. So we have two conditions. One that I, I usually, I call an internal condition, and another one that is an external condition, okay? Because it's a forward path, we take the highest number. So I have between 15 and 18, it is 18. Okay, 18. And then we continue off our path. We go for activity C, that is 18. Take two day, I'll be finishing C on tw day 20. And here you can see that it's order components, I guess, or the components. So it's, it's natural that when you are the components, you have to wait for the components to arrive in the, your, for the people that is working in, in your project. So you have a delay here. So it's a finish to start plus five. When can I start? When can we start activity D? Considering that 25, yes, 20 plus five, 25. When can we start activity E? Activity E. 24. 20 plus 4, 24. So activity E, that is the test. I'll be starting the test uh, four days after ordering the components. So 24 plus 5, 29 here. 25 plus eight, and now I have another trick task, task here, because it is activity D. Again, I have two conditions, two conditions that I have to fulfill in order to finish the task. The conditions are first, we have to wait the execution, and 25 plus eight goes up to 33, is that right? And I have a external condition. 
because I, I, I have to, I just can finish activity D three days after finishing activity E. So 29 plus three, 32. Because I'm on a forward path, I have to fulfill uh, the worst condition. And so the worst condition here is 33. Then I move 33 for the next activity. And I have 43 as the project end date. Okay, so that is a example of working on a on a uh, uh, AON in which we have legs and other activity relationship than finish to start. And in this case, we have start to start, finish to finish. Uh, now let's go for the backward path. One thing that is important on the backward path, and I'll be, I'll be using the green, is to understand that we'll be moving back on the arrows, okay? Backward, we'll be walking on the top of the arrows. So, and here you, you, we have, let's understand that, 43, 43 minus 10, 33. And then I walk on the top of the arrow back and I move 33 here. So. On every arrow, I start from the pointer, the, the point of the, arrow, the, the arrow itself, and go to the beginning of the arrow. So that is important. So we have here 33. And now I would ask you, what is the late finish for activity E? Again, there is the arrow pointing to the finish line. I have to walk back on the arrow here. So I have to bring that 33 back to that to that uh to, to activity e i have a three days delay but because i am walking backward i have to subtract three and i go from 33 i go 30. 33 minus eight i go for 25. 33 minus five 25. Now I have two conditions here, two, two conditions to move back. I have bring this 25 to activity, to activity C, and that 25 to activity C. And from activity E, I, I, I have 25 minus 4, 21. From activity D to activity C, I have 25 minus 5, 20. I have two conditions because I'm moving backward. I take the lowest, lowest number. And here I move back again, 18. And I move the 18 here. Okay. And now I have another condition here. So I have go 18 moving backwards on the, on the, from activity B to activity A, I have 15 here. 18 moving, thank you, the duration, I will be here, I have uh, three, okay? And now I go for the bottom of the first task, and here I have again two conditions, an internal condition, the execution of the, the task, plus external condition from activity B. When you move for activity, sorry, here is, sorry, that's, that's wrong. It's 13. It's 13. That's 18 minus 5 is 13. Okay. I put that there just to see if you're paying attention and I caught you. You are not paying attention. That's terrible. Okay. Anyway, uh, 13, if I move backwards, if I move backwards, I have to take 13 minus 10. I have three from the activity B. And I, from the duration of the activity that is 15 minus 15, it's zero. I have another condition. So I have to, to fulfill the both conditions, three and zero, because I am in the backward uh, path. I take the lowest one I have. Now, now let's see the slacks, okay? When we have other relationships than finish to start, and we include legs in the middle, 
we may have different slacks from the starting times and finishing times. You can have that's why I, I have two box here. Okay, so in this activity, zero, zero slack on the start and end. Here I have three and zero. Okay, activity B. On activity C, I have zero and zero. On activity E, I have one and one. On activity D, zero and zero. And activity, activity F, zero and zero. Those are the slags. Now, let's talk about the critical path. What is the critical path? You cannot say just, uh, from activity A to activity B. You cannot say that anymore. Is the critical path is the finishing of activity A through the finishing of activity B. Then I move forward, include activity C, D, and F. So the starting, I have some slack to start, to start activity B. I have some slack. Okay, I have some slack. The project manager here could, could just use finish to start all the way through from the first activity to the end. That could work if he puts A, finish to start, connecting to B. Could work very well. But he decides to try to shorten the project duration shorten the project duration and and the project man, manager at that time said okay because that is interview maybe in the middle of the interview i can start defining features new features that is that task here. so i don't have to wait until the end of the interview i can start earlier of course not at the first day of first but maybe some days after starting the interview and so you can get and that's what it, it he's trying to do here so instead of using a finish to start from the interview to define features with uh, finish to start he said okay but i don't need to wait 15 days to start b i can i can start b before that and the project manager decided to organize the sequence using start to start relationship he decided he could have decided to use finish to start, but he decided that, okay? Of course, with the project team. It's a project manager decision to organize the sequence. Of course, the project manager, considering the technical aspects of each task, talking with the subject matter experts of each task. But it's the project manager that, that, that decided that with the team. So there is several ways of doing of organizing the workflow for this project here. In this case, he decided to for, for that configuration, but he could have decided for a, using another configuration. Is that okay, man? We work hard to help you to get better marks, be prepared for job interviews, and excel in work meetings. You can send your questions in the comment area below. I will be pleased to answer all of them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe Americo e-learning.